You ever seen Ned's Classified School Survivor Guide? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean, no, maybe? I don't know. My brain is too distracted by putting my dick inside of all these creatures. Uh, it's not your dick, fucking freak. It is a detachable penis cane, and you know it. Uh, but Ned's Declassified. Uh, that a lot of people don't know about. Like, you know how, uh... It's about this boy involving Ned Bigby, you know, and his two best friends, Moe's and Cookie. You know, and they, they, they have to survive school, and they give tips to the audience and everything, and all that shit. Uh, well, uh, what a lot of people don't know is that it's actually about a... It, it, it's really It's a really fucking tragic story. You know how, like, you know, Sleeping Beauty is actually involving, you know, necrophilia? Or, like, a princess, you know, you know, getting fucked while, while asleep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, it's kind of like the same thing for Niz Declassified. Uh, so, it's about this, what it's really involved is, is, is that, uh, it's, and this is a true fucking story. Uh, Ned Bigby was, like, a very sad boy. Like, he was like super sad all the time and he wrote on his he wrote on his notebook a whole fucking lot and he would say that he had two two of his best friends but they're not really his best friends those were like imaginary friends he had an imaginary um uh, janitor friend who was like the only adult that he would actually see because he doesn't fucking trust his parents you know and all you know, that shit. You know it's bad when the only person you can trust is the janitor. Yeah, but it's an imaginary janitor. What the fuck? Why is it an imaginary janitor? Yeah, well, here's the thing. He was fucking weird. You know, he, he wanted an adult friend and the only adult... And he, and he didn't have any friends in, you know, in the teachers. So he decided to make one up with a, a janitor that likes to have fun with him. And I'm not talking about, like, this is like, this is like acceptable pedo- pedophilia, you know? No pedophilia is acceptable. Yeah, no, well, well, here's, no, Ooh, but, that was cool. No, but here's the thing, though, here's the thing, you know, it's an imaginary adult, you know, that Ned was in love with. He was like, like a 15 at the time. He was in love with an imaginary adult janitor. And that janitor loved him, too. And he didn't want people knowing about his fucking love. Until one day, uh, you know, he was caught, you know, fucking, you know, whacking it in the fucking janitor's Speaking of whacking it, look at them titties. (sighs) You're distracted. Hey, 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 you're distracting my story. Those titties are distracting the story. Those aren't titties. They have no nipples. Yes, they do. They're just invisible. Oh, fuck off. Continue. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh... Here's the thing. Ned was caught whacking off. And one of them was... Uh, the one of the people that caught Ned whacking off in the janitor's closet uh, was uh, a black kid named Cookie. Now, Cookie was was exactly like in the show. And Cookie was also a sad boy, too. But him and Ned did not like each other because Ned was also racist. You know? So, what Ned did was uh was actually kill him and stuff him into uh, like the janitor's closet it's very fucked up i know um but the thing is the janitor he told him to do it he fucking he fucking told the jan- janitor told him to to kill cookie man and as for mose as for jennifer mosley what, what about about what, what what about her in real life is probably what you're asking well, Mosley is actually based on a real-life girl that Ned also had a crush on. He just had that adult janitor, you know, that you know to to just imagine, you know, to make up for the fact that he could not get into Mosley's pants. Uh, but uh, that kind of backfired when he found out that uh, Mosley was a lesbian and she fell in love with this girl named Susie, and he wrote very very obsessive like angry shit this is like elliot roger shit and he fucking <laughs> wrote uh how badly he wanted to kill Mose and, th- and said that uh susie susie's vagina sm- kind of smells like crabgrass you know what i'm saying <laughs> what the fuck yeah and they 
Ned went off the deep end, man. He wanted to confess his love to to a lesbian, but he did not know what what lesbians are, well, you know. Uh, but then it's he, not good, you know. So. So yeah, uh, you probably knew exactly what happened there. You know, he couldn't get any any of that ass, so he decided to you know to kill her too. And nobody knew. Nobody knew where they went. Everybody, everybody did not know. They would never expect Ned, Ned Big Ned Ned Bigby to do it. No one would ever expect it. All it was is in that diary of his. He was such a nobody that not even people who like would even hate him would think that he would do anything because nobody really thinks about him that much. That's how sad he was, you know. Shit. And he also hated the teachers, you know. He 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 thought the science the science teacher was like a wannabe evil genius. He thought the uh, the woodcutter the the shop the shop take class teacher. He they thought. Like, he just thinks he was a fucking, uh, sadistic punk, you know, and, and made him oh, do, like... Bird puss is dead again. Made him do, like, horrible shit, you know, in shot class, you know, and whenever he cut it, got his finger cut off, the shot class teacher was like, yeah, that's fucking great! <laughs> and shit. Yeah. So, so, yeah, uh, well, so then Ned grew up. And he decided to join the military and... Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, so, uh, he decided to go on the military in, in Vietnam. Yes. Ned is at, Ned Bigby is a Vietnam veteran. This is how old this shit is. And he kept writing his diary, the same diary. And he just added... He just stuck on more papers. And in that mili- in during his time in the military... Uh, the the bully character is actually his fucking uh, uh, drill sergeant in real life. Thought he was like a massive bully to him, and he thought he was just so fucking stupid at, at times as well. And he wanted to do the same to the drill sergeant, like what he did to Moe's and, and fucking Cookie. But the the problem was he was in the military, so uh, he was pretty much fucked. Uh, so then he, so then. Uh, wow. One day, he got into combat with uh, against the Viet Cong, and then one of the Viet Congs, who uh, fucking got up right behind him, and dis- and just immediately got his attention by just going toot 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 and blew up. Oh! So Ned Bigby got killed by toot toot <laughs> in the Vietnam War. It was an explosive fart. <laughs> it wasn't a fart, though. Well, well, t- ah. p- p- the Viet Cong did love putting fucking bombs in their asses. So technically, it was a fart. So, yeah. When explosive diarrhea kills. <laughs> so yeah. Um, then, uh, every they you know after the war ended, uh, everybody gathered everything and they found this diary and. Nobody knew about this diary until it was stolen by some fat guy named Dan Schneider, and he and he grabbed that fucking diary and he was like, "I'm going to make a kid show out of this," and that's it. <laughs> Instead of like killing people and uh, fucking suicide bombing Viet Congs uh, up their asses, he made it. He made it a. Uh, uh, he made it about dealing with high school. So it's kind of similar in a way. Uh, How is that similar? High school is fucking brutal, man. Okay. <laughs> nice fanfic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh.